How do I choose my central theme? Well, creating the focus of your story has to do with listening. You don't create it. It actually comes to you after you've looked at all of the material that's around. Okay? So the first thing I would do is if I were an amateur and I wanted to look at my neighborhood was talk to my neighbors. See what they know about it. Then cast a wider scope. What do former neighbors know about this? What do the historians know about this? And listen, what are the things that happen in my neighborhood? When you're trying to figure out where to begin, look at an area, whether it's your neighborhood or a neighborhood you don't know, and see what's special about it, or see what's very typical about it that might represent other neighborhoods. And both of those are good places to, to begin your story. For instance, there's a community in Columbus called Steeltown. Well, if you're going to do something in that community, I think you have to explore the name of that community. Why Steel? Why Steel Town? Why was that the name? Where was the steel factory? Why did they work there? Why did the community take its name from that industry rather than something else? You have to answer those obvious questions. Should I write a script before I record anything? I don't think you want to write a script before you begin recording anything. You might have an out outline, you might have an idea of where the story is going, um, but generally you don't write a script until you've talked to people and interviewed people and you've heard what they have to say, and then you get those sound bites and you put them together to tell the story. I advise start small. Start with a minute. Start with something really interesting about your neighborhood. Maybe it's a flower bed garden. Maybe it's a statue. Maybe it's a, a house. Maybe it's something that you just want to learn more about. Do the filming on that, do the research on that, interview somebody about that, and then see where that process takes you. People script in different ways, but typically a, a script is, a useful format for a script is something called a split page format, where you divide a page into two columns, and on the left is what you see, and on the right is what you hear. And that's a very, uh, very useful way to uh, create a script. Should I tell my story in the first person, or should I use a narrator? The advantages of using a narrator is that it uh, helps bridge gaps. You can tell information that your interview subjects don't tell. You can set up scenes. You can create a beginning for your program and an end for your program. And you don't have to rely on the interviewees to stay, say that thing. The disadvantage to a narrator is it's kind of artificial, and it removes the viewer uh, takes the viewer a step away from actually being immersed in the story. So both the narr using a narration and not using a narrator have advantages and disadvantages. Now the other question was, you know, do I tell it in the first person? And uh, if you're involved in the story, uh, if you can tell the story compelling, if you have something to add, or if your obje objectivity uh, is really strong in that story, that that can mean that uh, telling a story in the first person could be a, a useful device.